Hey, what's going on, freaks? My name is Alan. I am a struggling minimalist. <sighs> Let me show you where I f***ed up. Part two, multiple monitors. Being an artist and a minimalist is a contradiction because you need a lot of gear to do your work. Monitors are an essential tool for me that I, unfortunately, have not kept in check. Let's take a look at my sins. Monitor one, 19 inch LCD screen from the Dell 530 series, AKA the college nerd monitor. I got this way back in 2007 when I was a freshman in college. This is the monitor that built all of my first designs. My first 3D animation, cringe. Well, I think that's a fine invention if I say so myself. Right, go? Go? First logo for my made-up company, fuck yeah. First video game ever release, sick. So why do I still have it after all these years? It wasn't the best monitor for design, but I held on to it because of a stupid logic called the someday fallacy. The someday fallacy is your dumbo belief that an object will be used someday. I used this specific monitor up until around 2014 when I first upgraded my machine for the first time. And Lucky ended up using it as a second monitor, so it did get a second life. Monitor two, the 23 inch Acer S230 HL LED monitor, AKA the junior mid senior level design monkey and monitor. This was my first ever double monitor setup. I remember I got a twin set of these at the Fry's Electronics in Burbank, California. Rest in peace, buddy. You are dearly missed. A lot of designs lived and died on these monitors. And now I have to say goodbye. You are not the f items you own. Monitor three. The 28 inch Dell 4K S2817Q LED monitor, AKA the <coughs> COVID-19 bat soup, don't forget to put pants on during Zoom meeting monitor. Anyways, while chaos was running rampant on our little planet and people were losing their sense of taste and smell, <laughs> losers, I was using this beautiful 4K monitor to make sick, sick. Photoshop graphics so as a relapsing minimalist in 2024 who's hoping to get back into the lifestyle let me tell you about this one thing called the, the one, one in one, one out, out rule baby. baby the one in one out rule simply keeps the amount of duplicate items under control if you already own something but need to replace it you sell donate or get rid of the original it teaches you how to detach yourself from material possessions while also decluttering your life. But as you can see, I didn't follow it because of the someday fallacy. Which brings us to this. Monitor 4, the 34 inch LG ultra wide QHD curved IPS monitor. Mwah. AKA freelance Alan needs tax deductions for 2025 monitor. I know, I know, I know, I know. What will happen to my older screens? Will they succumb to the same fate as my 17 year old monitor? This is the San Fernando Valley Rescue Mission. They are a nonprofit organization that helps struggling people and families get back on their feet and people can donate items in their thrift shop and purchases made go directly to these people for emergency food services, homeless support and shelter. This is one of the best ways I extend the shelf life of my no longer used items as it helps the community and aligns perfectly with my minimalist values. So, thanks for watching. I have a few more minimalism videos to upload before and after the new year, but as always, may the universe smile upon you.